Pro Drive. This is a made in America product with workmanship that is second to none. That's what we stand for. Made by Patriots for Patriots. I'm Matt from the Green Beret Life. We are a 5013C. We are made up of three former Green Berets and a therapist. We specialize in firearms training, outdoor survival, practical survival, land navigation, any type of outdoor course you can think of, military readiness for people looking at going into the military. Everything that we do goes to fund our expeditions for veterans, first responders, and their families. Today I'm gonna to do the initial review on a boat. It's a brand new boat that I just purchased. It's called a ProDrive SBX. I've had all sorts of multi-species fishing boats. I've had bass boats. I even had another shallow water boat prior to this that was smaller than this boat. I needed something a little bit bigger. Uh, the areas where I'm gonna fish with this boat are some areas of big water down by the 10,000 Islands area in Florida and some really shallow water, including the Everglades and in rivers here in Northern uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. So I needed a boat that was tough, that could handle that, that was able to run shallow and also able to run some of the bigger water. All right, this hull is an SBX series hull from ProDrive. ProDrive is a custom boat builder down in Southern Louisiana, Laurelville, Louisiana. And they were the inventors, originally with a motor, they were the inventors of the surface drive mud motor. And that was back in 2002, 2003 time frame. They also construct the boat as well. This boat is a little bit unique with the SBX hull. What does the SBX stand for? The SBX is an unsinkable hull. It has taller sides and it has two floors. And the floors that are in it, the, the top floor, there's, it's nine inches above the bottom floor. And then that is filled with sheet foam and it's pressure tested and sealed, okay? On the back of the boat, we have these things known as scuppers. Both, there's two scuppers. And here's what the back of the scupper looks like on the back of the boat. It kind of works like a Zodiac boat that special operations forces use in maritime, maritime operations. What it does, okay, is the floor of the hull is always higher than the water line. And once water comes in, these two scuppers, they flow 60 gallons a minute. So you have 120 gallons a minute that will be uh, extracted from this boat automatically using physics. There's no bilge pump, bilge pump or anything else. So if this boat is forced under water, it's going to start pumping that water out of these scuppers and it's going to right itself. As far as boats go, this is virtually unsinkable. Now it's a little bit heavier. That's the downside. There's always pluses and negatives to this. I needed something that could handle some of the bigger water out by the 10,000 islands. I may take it out on some bigger lakes even up here. This hull is a 125 thou thick and it's 5086 in So. You can get 190 thou thick on it as well, but I didn't feel it was necessary and I didn't want to weigh the boat down anymore. 125 is extremely, extremely thick and it's heavy and it's top grade, marine grade 5086 aluminum uh, for the boat industry. But everything is all welded on this boat and I'm gonna talk about the motor sort of towards the end, but we're gonna start at the front of this boat. I'm gonna go through some of the features that it has and what I like about it. I'm gonna start at the front of the boat with the lighting that this boat has, okay? Uh, legally, we all have to have running lights. We have LED running lights on the front of this boat. I have an LED running light on the back that's called a max it out light. I'll show you that when I get towards the back of the boat. It's virtually unbreakable, you put it up you can basically hit things with it and it's made out of fiberglass you can leave it on the boat at all times so you don't have to go hunting for it it folds down i also have an additional light here that is for navigation after dark and this is it's either a 10,000 or 12,000 lumen navigation light for lack of a better term it's got a spotlight in the center and floodlights on the side and uh, this pretty much will light up 
uh, your way. I've never had a light like this on the front of my boat, but being down in the Everglades or being on small rivers, you need to be able to see where you're going after dark. So it has this light on top of it. In addition, I have interior lighting. That is LED lighting that uh, you can pick the colors that you want. I went with white. I also have backup lights or rooster tail lights on the back of the boat that are also white. On the front of the boat, I got a, it comes standard with a four inch deck or a four foot deck. And it has storage here and a seat post here. I have mounted a 24 volt, 70 pound thrust Minn Kota power drive uh, trolling motor with, with iDrive and spot lock. Underneath the front, the front casting deck, I have a, a 13 gallon gas tank. Uh, it helps distribute the weight in the boat a little more evenly. You can also see there are two spots for the two trolling motor batteries that were up front there. Uh, I made the decision to go with HydroTurf. This boat's going to be out in the sun down in Florida. This HydroTurf on top of the boat, this material keeps everything cool and it feels like you're walking on a rubber pad the whole time. You can see I have two items here. These two are known as spud poles. There is a hole at the front of the boat and a hole at the opposite side at the rear of the boat. You put these in and it's a shallow water anchor. And it helps just hold the boat in place. If you're up on a sandbar, if you're in shallow water and you don't want to use the trolling motor to move, you just want to stay stationary, you can put these in. These are made of fiberglass. They used to always make these of aluminum. And the aluminum, if you accidentally leave it in the boat and you take off, you'll bend it. You'll have to break the spud pole in order to get it out. These things have a lot of give and flex to them. This thing on top is a push pole. This expands. Uh, it, it helps to navigate through shallow water or on flats down in salt water. Uh, it also has a quick release on the front and you can put a paddle attachment in there. And it all, it's all fiberglass. So these things are pretty damn indestructible. They'll take a lot of abuse. You'll notice here along the side of the boat, boat uh, along the gunnel, there's a, what's called a T-rail system. And this T-rail system opens up a lot, uh, uh, a lot of accessories for the boat. So on this boat here, I have a, a, a loop eye on the front, but I could put, I could put uh, cleats, boat cleats. I could put uh, rod holders there. I could even put a, a polling platform on the back or even a rear casting deck. In addition to that, I can also put a dog ladder. These boats were originally designed for waterfowlers that had to get into backwater marshes that are full of stumps and everything else. That's why they were built and they're sort of overbuilt the way they are in order to bounce them off of stumps, rocks, uh, things you may encounter back in the swamp looking for ducks and any other type of waterfowls. Now the dog ladder hooks into the side. It allows the dog to swim in the water and it's a ramp that allows the dog to come up on top of this. But I can add these as I need them. Your switch panel and all of that does come standard. Uh, I have USB attachments down there. This allows me to turn off, turn on and off all the various lights that I have. The interior lights, the rooster tail lights, the front light. It's just a very accessible type of area. My, my sonar gets mounted right here. This is another T-rail attachment and I have a ram mount here. So that's where my sonar goes. I'm running a Lowrance uh, hook series seven inch sonar on this with GPS and maps. The storage I decided to go with, this box comes standard. So this can either serve as just a storage box, it can also store as a gun locker. The rod locker is an eight foot rod locker and they did little things here. Everything about this boat is overbuilt. There's little things that they do that uh, I really like. If you notice the heavy duty latches that they use on this with the springs, uh, I think that's a nice, uh, it's a nice addition. Uh, you have those on everything. I have another storage locker back here that also serves as my rear seat. You, you can make the decision whether you want pedestal bases added. I did not. These things can be removed or moved around within the boat. We have uh, attachment points throughout the boat. All right, I took one of the spud poles out just to show how that works. Uh, I've got another one on the opposite side in the front corner built in. That's how the spud pole works. Here I have an adjustable transducer mount. 
This is where my transducer for my sonar goes. It's adjustable, fantastic piece, okay? I'm gonna talk about this motor here a little bit. There are several companies out there that make mud motors now. They all make really nice motors, but they're slightly different, okay? This, it starts with the power head. The power head on this is made by Briggs & Stratton. It's their industrial marine division called Vanguard. It's a 40 horsepower power head. It, that's as big as you can get for these boats right now, but there's a lot of aftermarket companies. As this boat sits, it'll run high 20s, mm, bumping into 30, low 30s. Uh, as far as speed that's not enough for some people some people want more if you want more there's certain companies out there midwest horsepower out of iowa uh, delta performance down in louisiana that will soup these motors up and do all sorts of things to them if you want it so you can get the power out of them if you want uh, this has the standard 40 on it you know upper 20s low 30 is, is perfectly fine by me what makes these unique is everything after the power head on this engine, okay? And this is the original, uh, the original shallow water surface drive, okay? When this motor is trimmed correctly, half of this prop is out of the water and it puts up a big, big rooster tail off the back of it. Now this lower unit right here, this is the only boat on the market that has something called full power reverse. And what this, what, what this motor does is the whole lower unit spins 180 degrees. So this piece is now 180 degrees that way. And if you get stuck up on a, a floating bog, um, whatever, this thing will push water up under the boat and pull you back off of that bog by being able to turn it around. Okay, now it also enables you to turn it 90 degrees either way. What makes this, well, another thing that makes this motor unique is that it's gear driven. Most mud motors are belt driven. This is gear driven. There's a gear set right in here that this particular motor uses. It runs off a series of additional hydraulic pumps. They're all made by Parker. There's one right there. We got another one right here. Super, super heavy duty. You can see the skeg. These things are designed to hit shit. Okay, uh, so what happens is, as you're cruising along and you hit a stump, it'll pull this motor, you just keep it lit. It'll pull this motor back up out of the water and it'll slam right back in. That's what these are built to do. Now, it'll also work through other obstructions. Uh, they do have a rock guard for rocky type rivers. Uh, I don't know if I need that or not. I do fish the St. Croix and the St. Croix has a lot of rocks in it, so is the Mississippi. But, um, Right now, the way these things are designed is they're designed to hit things. The boat's designed to hit things. That's why the aluminum is so thick in the boat. And the welds are just spotless on this thing. I got a chance when I went down to pick it up to go and see them building these boats. And watching that, uh, that process makes you really see how, how nice these are. I look at all of this and I say, this is blue collar ingenuity. Okay, and that's really what this is. It is so overbuilt. Like if you were to go down to the store uh, the, and buy any of the multi-species boats that are regularly available, you're gonna pay almost the same amount of money as you're gonna pay for this, but this is all hand built. Uh, the boat has one by one aluminum stringers that run across it uh, every foot. And then it has two by ones that come up the side of the boat. And it is, it is just a tank. And seeing one of these without the paint on it and being built is almost like a work of art if you're into fabrication. And uh, just seeing good quality American, made in America work. And that's one of the things that I really like about this thing. Uh, continuing on with the motor, I just did want to show this. This is the Max It Out light. This is made to take a hit right and it's got an LED at the top of it moving to the control center here another thing that makes the pro drive a little bit unique is that it operates very similar to a traditional outboard uh, it has a, a twist throttle I have uh, access to my trim here I have this pr this puts it in gear and puts or puts it in neutral I have a momentary on off button right there so if you're 
crabbing and you're moving up upon a crab trap and you can engage, disengage the motor with that button right there. I have additional uh, trim right here and this all enables you to work this thing. So if you've got to get it in reverse and get a hold of the handle when you're doing the full power reverse, this is uh, how you would gain control of the motor. And these things all make it a little bit easier instead of having to come back up here and work the trim because you're trying to get yourself unstuck. It has a locking mechanism right here. You use this when the motor is in reverse and you're really gonna start honking down on it because that will keep the motor from bouncing back up on you. If you're coming from an outboard into one of these, uh, this is probably the closest thing you're gonna get to a traditional outboard. Now I'm gonna talk about the trailer a little bit. Everything about this boat is overbuilt, uh, including the trailer. They use a Diamond City aluminum trailer. Most boat companies offer a regular steel trailer or a galvanized trailer. This thing is going in salt water. I need an aluminum trailer, okay? Uh, the trailer you get standard with a Pro Drive is a Diamond City aluminum trailer. You get the mag wheels, you get the extra wheel with it. Uh, LED lights and it is built heavy duty even you can see even the fenders are super 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 heavy duty one of the cool things that they have if you're ever backing a boat an empty boat trailer you're gonna want guides it's got guides on it so you can actually see where the trailer is okay it comes standard with these boat buckles okay these are all stainless okay and it's on a ratcheting system so it makes it just super easy to ratchet your boat down everybody usually wants to get off of the water fast this this enables you to do that able to get off the water fast and strap the boat down in a secure way with the with the correct angle and you're able to do that right here if you get up close i was talking about the welds the welds in this boat are absolutely beautiful they're absolutely beautiful. These are the rear backup lights that I was talking about before. And like I said, you can get those in three colors, white, blue, or green. It's gonna go green because of the green beret light, but uh, I went with white. I'm gonna talk about the buying experience here, and it's important. When I first started looking at one of these, I had another boat that was significantly smaller than this. This boat's an 1854, so it's 54 inches wide, 18 feet long. Uh, I had a 1644 with a 23 horse uh, surface drive mud motor before. I needed something bigger, and I told you the earlier on the reasons why I needed something bigger. So I started calling I started doing my research and, and, and looking at some of the different manufacturers and I started calling around. When I made my first phone call, or e I sent an email off first actually, uh, and it was responded to, my email was responded, hey, here's what I'm looking for. Uh, do you offer a military program? Because that's important for me. I'm interested in learning more about your boats. And I got a reply back from an individual named KP. Now KP and his brother, uh, are two of the owners of ProDrive. And KP had no idea whether I was a, a tire kicker just calling to waste his time or not. But KP um, uh, asked for my phone number and gave me a call and answered every possible question I could have in a straightforward way. He didn't, he didn't uh, talk bad things about other competitors products he talked about his product and what it had and what it offered and how it worked in with what I could possibly need he didn't try to upsell me on anything he gave me the sheet I could custom build this boat the exact way I wanted it if I wanted to ask his opinion I would get it uh, but it was just a really really good buying experience right off right off the front like I said the only deal that I get here is uh, my military discount, which is what every veteran's gonna get on this boat. And I appreciate that. I honestly don't care what the discount is. I do like the fact that there's some companies out there that offer a discount. Uh, the way I uh, uh, interacted with KP right from the very beginning left a positive uh, taste in my mouth. 
Uh, he didn't sugarcoat it. We were in the middle of the pandemic. We started on this boat last February, March timeframe. And he said, it's gonna be in August by the time your boat is done. And everything's backed up from getting the, the Parker pumps that are on that, to the power heads, to the aluminum, you name it, everything is backed up. KP was upfront about this right from the very beginning and everything met the time frame along the way. Uh, if I had a question on some, even if I changed something, I originally didn't get the rod box, I became a little bit of a pain in the ass with them on it. There were things that I originally put in. I said, nah, I don't want it. And it was never an issue, it, never an issue. Just about everything that can be made right there in that shop is made right there in that shop for the motor and the boat. You get to see everything. So, so impressed. I've mentioned it already. Seeing one of these boats being put together and the structure that's put in these boats and the fabrication and craftsmanship that goes into this just blows me away. I'm saying all of this because it's an American company, like I said at the very beginning, with blue collar ingenuity, which is what this is. All of these designs come from these guys and what they're using down there in the swamp. They are patriotic Americans. I can't get over how reasonable the price is on all of this. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I paid for this, okay? But I can tell you it's equivalent to getting an entry-level boat from one of the big, big manufacturers that's out there. So if you were to go up the street to the Marine Center and buy a boat, and they don't have a fraction of the capabilities or they're not built anywhere near to the level this boat is built. This is a hand-built boat built by Patriots built by good people. Uh, I will put a link in the bottom of the SBX hull. They offer several different hulls. The SBX hull is what this is. This is the unsinkable hull that's got the two floors in it with the scuppers in the back. There is a video that, that uh, ProDrive has put out. We'll link it at the bottom where they're out in the middle of a lake, filling it with water and you can watch how, how this system works. A lot of these boats were used, I just wanna mention this real quick. If you've heard of the Cajun Navy, these things are survival tools, which really sort of melts into our company as well. Because when the roads are all flooded down there, these are often the only types of boats that can go out and rescue people. And this is largely what the dudes in the Cajun Navy down there, which were neighbors going and helping other neighbors in times of, of drastic flood, hurricanes, and nobody else could get to them but their neighbor, neck the person to the left and the person to the right of you. And it just sort of runs through these companies like ProDrive. And I wanna highlight them, I wanna give them a shout out. I look forward to seeing you for more uh, on this, in this boat, on the water, down in Florida, and up here. Thank you very much. Live in freedom every day.